Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lou Fru Fru Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on the hashtag 50 stack challenge 4, which is a weekly prompt challenge hosted by Amy at Crafty Cat, um, where on Mondays she pulls out two prompts out of her little paper bag and you're to make two pieces of ephemera. Uh, with each of those prompts. Uh, she does have a playlist on her channel that has all the previous week's prompts in it. And um, I have a playlist on my channel as well where you can see my previous makes. And you can also search the hashtag 50 Stack Challenge 4 on Instagram and you can see... Everybody that posts on social media, you can see what they're making for the uh, challenge. So, today's challenges from this past Monday fit perfectly into the journal I'm working for on. Uh, one was retro and the other one was patriotic. And I am actually working on a patriotic journal right now so and it kind of has a retro theme so um the prompts couldn't be more perfect for me this week and i am using amy's uh paper her patriotic grungy fabric i think that's what she calls it something like that um paper kit in this journal and I've also used her grungy paper on the back sides so um I have just been working in this for the last couple of days and so both of my makes today are going to be made to fit in this particular journal so let's get started and see what we can come up with. I've got all kinds of red, white, and blue bits and bobs all over my desk. The first thing that I did was I chose my base. These are index, the large index divider cards. And they, I found them at a thrift shop and they were brand new, still in the cellophane. And they're not old, and so they have that kind of shiny letters here. And I just peeled that off because it's too shiny and too new for what I wanted. So those are going to be the bases for both of my makes for today. We're going to start with the retro one. And I also have somewhere, what did I do with it? A piece of file folder to use for, to back my tags to make them a little stiffer. And if you give me a second, I've laid it somewhere. Okay, sorry about that guys. I couldn't figure out where I laid it. And so, uh, like I said, this is just a piece of file folder that I had in my stash. And uh, these are not really thick ones. Um, so they make really good backs for tags. And what I'll do is I'll use this side and go that way. Hopefully have a piece, decent piece that has that tab left on it to use for something else. And so I have this polka dot paper that I'm going to use for the back of my tag, or to back my tag, because it's just thin scrapbook paper. So we'll make the tag first, so it can be drying while we're working on everything else. And I'm just gonna make, this is a three inch by six inch piece of paper. When I think of retro, um, polka dots always come to mind. I don't know why, but they do. Alright, so we will. Let me 
Push that a little bit. Make sure I get it good and glued down. I didn't get that edge. Do you ever get edges when you glue with a glue stick? Not me. I always have to go back and get at least one edge. Alright, and I'm going to use my angle cutter and cut a large angle on here. needs to be emptied. Let me fiddle with this. I never can get that little door open on this one. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to poke a hole in the top. Excuse my reach. And then we're going to try once again to use my little punch here and punch a because i really want a blue one now i did try i don't know if i can figure out where this is lined up exactly probably should use like a oh let's see if i can get one out of this I did try to use some aluminum foil too. Sharpen this and it did not work in the past. And I don't think it's gonna work this time. It just drives me crazy to have something that you paid for that didn't work. You know what I mean? Oh, it did it. Oh, it did it, but it did it weird. All right, let's try again. If I don't get it this time, I'll just have to color one. I've got a, a Tim Holtz die that does them too, that I just need to take some time at some point to cut some out that's what i need to do you can see i'm squeezing just as oh that one's okay it's got a little flat part on it but we're gonna take it Yay! That was way too much effort, though. Alright, where's my art wood clip? Yay! Okay. Now, I am using Gathered Twigs to ink in this journal. Um, one, because Vintage Photo has a tendency to have kind of a yellowish tint to it. And I didn't want that. I wanted something more 
a true brown, so um, I've been using gathered twigs and been quite happy with it. And I didn't want something as dark as my uh, ground espresso or scorched timber. So, yeah, I think it's working nicely. Alright, so there's my tag. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. So, we're going to leave it like that. Now, I'm going to make my pocket. And for that is where I'm going to use this bad boy. And I've got a piece of Amy's paper. This is in that, her patriotic kit that I've got cut to the size that I want. And I have a little strip of paper that has some polka dots on it that I'm going to put up here at the top. Like that. And then in between that, I want this little piece of trim to go. So, I guess I need to glue this piece on first. I'm just going to kind of hold it there so I get it in the right thing. I didn't squish my, or um, lower my glue tip down before I put the top on it. Now it's all squished. Alright. So there's that. And then let's put our trim on. See if I can figure out what side is what. I'm going to put it there. And I am going to sew around these, but I'll do that part off camera so that we're not interrupted during making our stuff. And now I'm going to put Amy's paper here. Scoot it down just a tad. We may have to trim it off just a little bit. Make sure and get everything all even. I'm going to leave that tab exposed. Okay. Now... Let me cut this out of the way. This already has like a decal edge on it and I want to keep that. So I'm going to cut across this piece with the decal trimmer and then I'm going to cut the other straight. And I'm going to cut it, you know, right. Oops, I didn't allow that time to glue down there, and I bet that won't go under there anyway. Actually, I put glue stick on there, and that's probably not going to hold it. 
I'm going to put some art glitter glue on there. And like I said, I am going to sew around it. So in the long run, it'll be fine. But I don't want it messing up before I get the opportunity to do that. So I'm going to put a little. And then I think I'm going to have to cut it this way. Because I don't think that trim is going to go under the guard. Sorry, I know that made a horrible noise. There we go. And I put just a, you can tell, um, got it. Ooh, I'm knocking everything. Sorry, guys. Just a little bit of an angle on there, just to give it some interest. It already had kind of an angle. I just exaggerated it a little more than it already was. All right, and now I can use my scissors and cut off this extra. And then cut off just this little bit down here at the bottom. Okay, so there is my base for my pocket to go down in. So my pocket, my tag is going to go down in here like this. Okay, now I have this picture, which is one of my uh, war poster pictures that I have. And, um... I'm going to put this on the top to decorate the top of the pocket. So I'm going to ink around it. And it says, we'll have lots to eat this winter, won't we, Mother? And it says, grow your own, can your own. It's so funny, it says, Mother. I never called my mom Mother unless I was mad at her. <laughs> or being sarcastic. So that's funny to me to see the word Mother. And uh, when I say sarcastic, I'm talking... When I was an adult, I didn't, wasn't dare sarcastic when I was a child, but she, when I was an adult, would try to give me advice on something and I'd say, yes, mother. Because, <laughs> you know, we know everything. Okay, now let's address the tab. And first thing I'm gonna do is ink all the way around. All right, so what I want to do, I believe, for the tab is I have this little piece of um, vintage brick rack. And if you'll notice, they have little brick rack on their um, aprons that they're wearing. So I thought that would be cute. And I have a little button. But I need something else to go underneath that. So, I don't know if I want to use... Let's see if I have... 
was thinking maybe a little piece of lace. I just want something to kind of break or to cover up that uh, manila file folder color. I have, what do I have? Um, I really want like an eyelet looking, maybe this one. I know you can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm running out of space on my table, so. I'll show you in just a second. So if I take that. Then a little piece of the brick rack. Then that button. Or do I want a blue button? This is all my red, white, and blue buttons that I went through and dug out. So they'd all be. Need a little one. Little one. And that one's got a on it. It's a lot wider than my blues. It matches this blue, but it doesn't really match that blue. But I think it might be okay. Then I think I'm going to put this. No, I'm going to save this for the other one. That one's going to go better than the other one. Is that what I want? Do I want more than one button? Looks better in with more than one, doesn't it? What? I can't hear you. I wish I could find a darker one. Oh. All the darker ones are big. Thank you. 
find one more. I gotta do three. I'm gonna do it. It has to be three. All right, Timmy, you can't sit here and fiddle with buttons all day. You gotta make up your mind. Feels like it needs some, like, string or something underneath it. Or maybe the brick rack just isn't working for me like I thought it would. blue denim strings. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that will work for me. All right, let me use Fabri-Tac because I don't think that I will be able to stitch that on. Didn't mean to bang that on the desk. Sorry about that. Turn that off. All right, so there is our pocket. There's our tag. I'm not going to worry about trying to decorate the tag right now because I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, I could. Go ahead and put a topper in it. Maybe we will kind of duplicate what we did on the tab and use this. And another piece of the rickrack. I can get it through there. I didn't even ask you guys if you're okay, I don't think. I hope you're having a good day. It's a good Friday here. My granddaughter is in a play tonight. So we're excited to go watch her as we're doing Little Women. All right, so I'm gonna staple that with my tiny attacher and hope that it goes through. That was one of my favorite books when I was younger. Like a tween. 
I guess. I probably read it a million times. Maybe we'll put a button there. Put another white one. Maybe a little bit more string underneath. If I can get it to quit sticking to my fingers, look at that. Fiber tag. Gotta love it. Glue globs, gotta love those too. All things we love. Fabri-Tac glue globs, things sticking to our fingers, ink all over everywhere. That's what we love about this craft, right? All the fun stuff. All right, so then my tag will go in like that. All right, so we got that one done. Hopefully the other one will go quicker. All right, so for the other one, which is patriotic, which this obviously is patriotic as well. Um, I have the same kind of concept going. So, let me pull out my stuff here. Alright, for this one, we're using this image, which is a little bit bigger um, than the one we just did. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Sorry, you had to get a drink of my tea there. All right, so the tag is going to be out of this pretty blue paisley. Again, I'm going to do it away from the tab. So hopefully I can use the tab piece on something else down the road. Okay, now for this one, let me cut this out real quick. Actually, I'm going to cut my angles first on the, and poke the hole, and then we'll ink around it. Now, what do I want to do for the... I may not put a whole reinforcer on this one. 
Let me imp around it and see. We may just leave this one. Oh, I've got, look, I didn't pay attention and now I've got the branding on the back. That's okay. I can take a piece of scrap coffee dye paper or something and cover that up. All right. Now, where is my card? Does anybody see it? There it is. Okay. So this is going to be my background for this one. So I need to figure out how wide. I think I want it. Do I want it one stripe wide? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it about right here. Come on, line up. Okay, and then height wise. I'm going to go about right there. it up here by the tab and that is not straight sometimes if you don't pay attention it's really easy to get these cuts not straight on this cutter for sure. Not straight. Still something not straight. There we go. All right, that's better. It's still not perfectly straight, but I'll straighten it up when I glue it down. Okay, so this is going to go here. And I want to, I think, on this one, I want to take, I couldn't find any red striped paper in my stash, which is odd. But I do have, wherever I put it, some red striped 
washi tape. And the reason I'm doing that is the bows in their hair. Um, so I'm going to take this washi tape and put it across the top and then put my paper down so that I can get this red stripe in there. Maybe, if I can find the end. All right, so I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna go all the way across even though I know the card's not gonna be all the way across, I just don't Feel like measuring it at the moment. And that little bit of washi tape is not going to kill me. I lose it. All right, now I want something to separate those two. So, do I want some more lace or do I want another paper? Not wide enough. That one's wide enough. I kind of like that one, and the reason being is the picture has this lighter color blue in it. And I like the idea of bringing that lighter blue element in. So I'm going to tear that. And then just rip a smaller piece to go underneath. And glue that down. Look at me. I am making such a mess, guys. And I'm going to put the torn edge up. blue piece down. So, it's going to go like that. So, let's get it glued up. All right, and then our ladies, let me ink around them. And they are, it says even a little can help a lot now. And they are putting the stick in their war stamps and their bonds in their little book. So... I have a sticker that I'll show you here in just a second out of the Kathy Holden sticker book.
that is this one. And it has, um, it says, uh, U.S. Inter Revenue something. But anyway, I said, that reminded me of the little stickers that they're putting in, in, in there. So, I think this is going to go on the tag. And then I also took out a page of my vintage um, green stamps book that didn't have any stamps on it. And so, I'm going to make it put that on there and do like a little collage that looks like that it they have been collecting the stamps so that's i have an idea for that tag so that worked out really well all right so i'm going to trim around this And then we'll address the tab on this one quickly. All right, ink around. All right, so there's my pocket. And for this one, I have this cool little button that has the red and white on it. I think that's really cool. And I'm gonna put this in the tag because this matches the little red and white stripe. And I think I'm going to They've got Rick Rack too, but I don't have any Rick Rack left. That was the only little piece that I had. But I've got this, which is kind of a stretchy, ruffly material. So I thought that might be cute. I definitely want to use that button. Because I think that button is just adorable. So let's glue this down because it's going to be kind of a bear because it's got that elastic in it. And this one I could use, that lighter color blue button. Or a lighter color blue button. And watch now, I won't be able to find one of those. This one. I'm 
I think I want like some white threads or something or a little something something These threads that I'm using, most of them are from where I tear material and I um, keep a little pile of the threads that come off, especially if I'm doing like a, a ticking or a denim. If I'm ripping it, they give really good threads. I'm gonna just kind of set them in my little scrappy bin. Again, I left the top off my ink. I'm going to end up with that ink everywhere. Okay, so for the tag, all I'm going to do, and this would be a excellent opportunity to cover a lot of that on the back. I don't care if some of it shows. So I think I'm just going to wrap it around. Try to get it good and glued without tearing it. around the edge and take my little stamps I may do like two and two Glue those down and I put the sticker on book page just so I can move it around but it was a sticker Now, do I want to use that little stripe or do I want to use, I may use that elastic. For the top, just cut some and put it through there. And again, staple it. And there we go. Now, my next decision is, do I want to 
I think I want to put a little notch in the top and then we'll be done. All right, so there is that tag. And let's notch. No, I don't want to notch this one because I've got my torn angled ed edge and I want to keep it that way. All right, so move all my scraps out of the way so we can see what we did here. So we have our, let me cut this little hanging bit off. Retro here, and let me get my journal and we'll see how it's going to look on a page while we're at it. I don't know exactly where I'll put it, but we'll pick a page, any page. I'd say a page, any page, as I flip through all of them. Make here. So actually it would have to be on the other side. So we'd have this one. That would go on a page like that. And you could make another tuck here. It'd be kind of tight, but you could if you really wanted to. And then we have this one. This one, like I said, is a little bigger because the image was bigger. But yeah, I think those came out really cute. And I think I'm going to have to add a button up there just for... A little something, something. But we'll see. And um, when I sew these, I'm going to uh, sew around this part, I think, and uh, leave the rest. Or I may just sew across here, just to, just to give it a little something. We'll see when I go to the machine. But when I post the pictures at the end of the video, you'll be able to see the stitching and see what I actually did. So, I hope you guys like that. Um, again, check out Amy's channel on Mondays for the prompts. And I will see you guys back. Uh, it may not be until Tuesday. And uh, I may get a video made this weekend that's working in this journal. We'll just have to play it by ear and see what's going on. If I get... Uh, really motivated and get this journal finished, then you will see a flip through of it on Sunday. 